everyone. What's up? But feeling a lot better, so I'm not scared to go into school today. Um, obviously, I'm still a bit bummed up and all of that horrible stuff, but I'm not feeling as nearly as bad as I was yesterday, which is a really, really good thing, because yesterday, I literally felt like my whole body was about to break on me. Hopefully, I'm not going to let down um, the woman that I'm supposed to be tutoring today, because I still feel really bad about having to cancel yesterday had to be done otherwise I would have <laughs> infected her kid. I have a feeling that I got ill from that boy who vomited on me my first week in like I think it was the second day that I was in. But there was a kid there who was really sick and he was throwing up all over the place and of course I got some sick on my shoes on my feet and I was wearing like open sandals as well so it actually contacted the skin so today I'm once again making my smoothies. I have almond milk at the bottom there. I've got um, bananas somewhere at the back here and pears. And I've got papaya and of course spinach. Because I've heard that papaya is really good for the skin and hair. And since I'm still having problems with breaking out and stuff, I thought I'd give that a try. I did use a whole papaya though. I'm not sure if you're meant to use half or a whole one. I did start off with half, but I was like, yeah, I'll just put all of it in. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's the almond milk or the papaya, but something in there does not taste right. I have a feeling it's the papaya, just because I tasted it before I put it in there and it wasn't too keen. But waste not, want not. I made this and good lord, I'm gonna finish it. So I've got my smoothie inside here and I'm giving it like an actual try. It's not, it's not that bad. It's just... It's just really bitter. And I feel like it's missing something, like a kick. But I don't know what to put in it, because banana... Mm. Normally, like, if something like this is happening, I'd put, like, a lemon or something, just to give it, like, a little boost, but I've run out of lemon. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to try it again, but add some lemon. I might not add almond milk, because I'm not too keen on almond milk anyway. I tried it for the first time a couple of days ago, and it's a little bit too sweet. I mean, it's fine for cereal, but I'm not going to add it to the mix, like, to the smoothie mix. But I will try lemon, because I feel like that would be a good addition to it. Maybe I'm wrong. Someone tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not going to be able to read it before I make my next one, but if anyone has any suggestions for good, like, smoothies involving papaya, I want to use papaya because I have really bad skin, and it's good for skin and hair. I mean, you can never have, like, an overload on vitamins, can you? Can you? I hope not, because there's quite a lot in here. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get through it. That's a big bottle, 75 centiliters. That is my breakfast. So I'm gonna give it a go. Definitely gonna try the lemon tomorrow. It's just a shame because um, I know strawberries would be a good addition, or like any kind of berries, but like anywhere I go, it just doesn't seem that they have berries here. Maybe berries aren't in season. Yeah, it's a shame, but I'm gonna have to go with the times. Pick what's fresh, because that's the best really, so yeah. Gonna check it out tomorrow, get some lemons. got back from tutoring two little girls. Um, one was after the other. I think they're like cousins or friends at school or something. I got my lemons. I'm going to put those on now and hopefully it will taste a little bit more like something that I can eat. <laughs> Put it in the freezer. Oh, it's like bubbling in there. Why is it bubbling? So I've got my bowl of cereal while I wait for my food to defrost. And I'm also editing videos. 
Who's that handsome man? It's really annoying because I've spent so long trying to find a decent video editor, like something that's affordable and good quality, but I haven't found any, so I've been stuck using Windows... Windows Movie Maker for now. Um, one of my friends did tell me about something else, but I haven't actually checked it out, so I probably should have a look at it now. Um, but yeah, it's now 8 o'clock in the evening. I really, really, really need to do my hair. I just need to trim it just because it was so damaged when I took it out of my braid. I, that's like why it's been up the whole time. Because I went swimming um, when Ben was here, we went to the beach like almost every day and I obviously didn't want to have my hair out in, in the seawater because um, that would make it even more damaged. So I put it away and since then like I've washed it and everything but I don't really want to do too much to it and I haven't had time yet to just sit down and go through it which is really bad considering I do have enough free time to do it it's just in the mornings I'm at work in the afternoons I have a nap <laughs> and in the evenings I go and tutor and then I'm not back until about seven o'clock and at seven o'clock I just want to chill and I don't really want to be doing anything with my hair and in the past few days I've been ill so I obviously haven't done anything then I, I really I really think I should do it today or tonight rather just like to get it out of the way tomorrow I'm tutoring again um, but I've only got one girl tomorrow and I'm not too sure what time it is I think I finish at 6 so it might be easier to just do it tomorrow at 6 when I finish and I've had dinner and all that oh what are those what is that I've got dark circles under my eyes Ugh. stress from the children today was actually really good when I was in today um, I started my first hour was just kind of like a free hour not really it was more of a, uh, a I don't know a preparation hour it was really good because I got to translate um, the teacher gave me a text that it was about Halloween it was just like whole like three paragraphs long about the history of Halloween and apparently it was started by the Celts or Celts. I should probably look up how to pronounce that because I'm most likely going to have to explain that in the class next week or tomorrow, whenever it is. Yeah, that was really interesting to to um, do that and I really, really liked it because I haven't translated anything in such a long time and the fact that I get to do that now is really good because I was kind of on the fence with what I wanted to do after I finished uni. Do I want to go into teaching or do I want to go into translating and interpreting? And I mean, if I can do both at the same time, that would be great. But then I'm also thinking if I can get a job in translation and then maybe on the side do tutoring like I am now, that would also be good. So I kind of get the best of both worlds, you know? So uh, yeah, that's come to mind. I also had to prepare Oh, I should probably do it tonight actually. My teacher asked me to play, to like, pick out pick out 20 words from one of the vocab lists that the kids have to learn. So, I've picked out 20 words. I picked um, the most difficult ones just because they can't really get the letters and the pronunciation right on those words. So those are the ones that I picked out, you know, hopefully to strengthen them in the future or whatever when they use them. And she said that tomorrow I'm going to lead the class doing a bingo game. I know nothing about bingo. Bingo in England is played by old, retired men and women who, I don't know, get together like every Thursday night or whatever to get out of the house. I don't know. So I'm pretty sure I played it a couple of times when I was at school just to, you know, when we were learning too. So yeah, I'm going to look up the rules for that. And, and yeah, hopefully that will give me like a good idea and I can get something started and print some stuff off or whatever, I don't know. Like, I've started to get talking to a lot of the teachers now, which is really good because like the teachers are so friendly at my school, they're so nice and they're so supportive of me. They're always like, oh if you need anything just let me know and I'll help you out. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, thanks, that's really nice. <laughs> and they're always willing to talk. Like, I mean, like in the staff rooms, they always talk to each other, but then they always involve me in their, in their um, conversations. See, I'm starting to lose my English a little bit because I'm speaking all the time in Spanish because my flatmate is Spanish, the teachers are Spanish, the kids are Spanish, everyone that I'm tutoring is Spanish. I've made loads of Mexican friends who speak Spanish. So, yeah, which is good. Like, it's good because I'm actually surrounding myself in Spanish, which is what I wanted to do when I came here. So, I'm happy.
Also today in the second class I had was the year four so we had a science exam um, it was the end of the respiratory system module which I'm really upset about because I like the respiratory system it's really interesting although I've never heard of the larynx I know there's a pharynx but the larynx I've never heard of and that is apparently in the book which is right here so we've got the nostril there the pharynx Pharynx, I kind of, I knew it existed, but I didn't know what it was. And then there's a larynx, which I've never heard of. And it's funny because I was talking to my mum about it as well, and she said she'd never heard of it too. So uh, I don't know. It says the vocal cords are in the larynx. They make sounds when we speak. Pretty sure we just call that voice box, no? I don't know. Yep. And then there's the bronchi, lungs, and alveoli. And it's really funny because I, I say bronchi and alveoli, but um, like they have a CD, like a workbook CD and the woman who speaks on it says bronchi and alveoli and i think um luckily the kids had been listening to me say it a few times before so they didn't get too too confused i think they kind of just brushed it off but the teacher was like on the cd she says bronchi and i'm like i think that's just the accent <laughs> Maybe I'm the one who did it wrong, but at least they know the word and they know that CH is a K and not a CH, so I, I kind of did my job. But look at what I have to do next! Ah! This is the next unit and I'm so nervous, I really, really don't want to do it. At the end of the exam today, the kids had to come up with me with this whole list of vocabulary of the next unit, which is reproduction, and my lord. I freaked out. <laughs> they had to say things like the way the body changes and like most of these kids aren't anywhere near puberty so why do I have to teach them this now? Ugh. And I'm the most, the most awkward person to have to teach them this and it's like <clears throat> the male reproductive system, the female reproductive system, ovaries, ovum, fallopian tubes, Vagina. Like I, I just can't. I, I guess I have enough time now to prepare myself for it. So, my lord, I'm dreading it. And the weird thing is, when the kids are reading out the list and they got to words like penis and testicles, <laughs> like they weren't. Not one of them was like giggling or anything. And I'm just like, wait, what? Well, what is happening? You're the kids. You're the ones that's meant to be laughing. But they weren't. That kind of made me feel bad. Made me feel worse. Made me feel like I was ridiculously immature. Which I am. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I am. But, God, it just made it so much harder. So, yeah. Now I have to look forward to teaching them. Teaching eight-year-old kids who are apparently more mature than I am.